Hey guys, and what's up? My name is Nick Double. Um, as you may have noticed, I've been away from Facebook for a while because I've been producing uh, new pop albums for artists, uh, singers. Uh, also, I've been doing a lot of mixing and ghost producing, but today I'm back in the studio working on my own stuff and also trying to do a couple of new tutorials. And the first one is about vocoding. And I have this new track I'm working on with a super cool vocal from Krista Youngs, which I got from Splice. And this is how it sounds. So that's a little uh, part of it and today we're going to focus mainly on this vocoder which sounds like this <laughs> So first off, I have the original vocal right here. And, love like we're dying. and this is on a channel named Vocal. Then to get the effect, we want to create like a second channel, like okay, this one. And we're going to put on Vocodex to create the vocoded effects. Usually I like to uh, go all the way with the wef wetness so we don't have any dry signal coming through and I always put off draft and tread it. So now for us to uh, have the vocal vocoded, we're going to uh, get a synth. For this one, I used Omnisphere and it's just a simple init. So really simple, nothing too crazy. We could also try and use other synths, but Today we're going to keep it easy and just keep on with the init. So with the synth, I'm going to put it here on this channel. And I'm going to route it from the master to the vocoder. And same goes for the vocal. I'm going to unroute it from the vocal bus. And we're going to route it to the vocoder. So we can only create a vocoder for now. Then I go back into Vocodex. And I choose uh, one here for the vocal and two here for the synth. So the synth controls the vocal. We won't hear it right now because we need to have the chords play. And these are, these are the chords. I copied them to the modulator synth or the vocoder. And let's put these on with the vocal. And we already see and hear like this vocoded effect going on. Now we can do a couple of things to change this vocoder. What I usually like to do is to uh, go up with the unison. So it's like more people sing it. So it gets like wider and usually tweak the pitch a little bit. But so let's see how that sounds. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. It's a bit lower than the original. And then for the bands, I usually go lower so we get more like a robotic effect. I don't want it to be too robotic, so I'm probably going to stick around at 24. And you can always do different things. This is just my preference of working with this vocoder. Uh, what I can do right now is select this part with the vocal and we can click record down here at the vocoder and we can disk record re render to waves. So we have like the wave file into the playlist and now we can edit and EQ some stuff out to make it even better. And also glue it more in the mix totally.
So now I've rendered this and we can see the vocoder has appeared right here. So I can mute the uh, chords and I can with the vocal, I can put it back to the vocal bus. And I'm just gonna route this to the vocoder and turn it to vocal deck so it doesn't get double vocoded. And now we should hear uh, the vocoder. <laughs> Together with the vocal. And it really creates some extra uh, dimension and some uh, thickness as well. So it's, we get like a fuller and bigger mix and we also have something new into this part of the song. So it doesn't get boring. Um, now only put on this EQ, which I did. Uh, cut off some of the low mid so we don't have a lot of that mudness going on and I boost it a bit around the mid side so we get like um, the presence of the vocoder more in the mix also routed the vocoder to the vocal bus so it goes into the same um, compression and also de as the vocal itself also what we can do for we have some uh, parts in the vocoder like this where the vocal doesn't actually sing but the synth is still going on and we can either uh, use uh, volume automation to fix that to duck out the, the signal out or we can use like a gator to uh, do the same but more automatically so or we could do like a combination of both so let me turn my gator right here and if I have it at uh, the top everything will be uh, gated out <laughs> And you see it's working on the parts where the vocoder wave is more quiet than other places. So this is about, uh, it's okay setting, it could be a bit better, but for now it's good. And now in total, we get like this effect, which will sound really cool. And that's it about vocoding. Hope you guys like this tutorial. And if you have any recommendations or you want to ask some tips or maybe you have some suggestions for next tutorials, please let me know and I'll do my best to do those. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.